Speaking of Marvel, Captain Marvel 3, trailer 3. Captain Marvel 3. Marvel (laughs) 3. Captain Marvel trailer 3. Um, Captain Marvel third trailer came out, and probably the best trailer of of the the Captain Marvel trailer, just in the sense of, like, gave a bit more tone to the character. You saw the lighter side of her more personality. Yeah, Brie smiled. Yeah, it was great. Okay, let's address anyone that has an issue and keeps saying Brie Larson has a smile. You're a fucking it's not loser. That. It's not that. It's that Brie Larson has one facial expression and that's it. There was that like there that's was not, not a lot true. of emotion. So ridiculous. In the previous so trailer. Ridiculous. No, because the thing is, I yeah, we but know that's she's any a good character actor, from any movie. Yeah, no, but any character from any of those superhero movies. But wh- why is everyone focusing on it with her? It's just her face. There's something about it. It's like I don't. She... I think it's bullshit. I think nah, that's some bullshit. I think nah. it's so dumb, man. Nah. I think it's so dumb. It was just this weird, like I don't know. It was a bit strange, but it, I like this trailer. Like... I thought it was really good. Everyone just. I just feel like there's people out there that just want to criticize this movie before it comes out. Oh, they definitely are. And I'm just like, why? Why? Like this is probably going to be as good as any other Marvel movie is going to be. It's because a lot of Why people everyone... are so wrapped up in this, oh, the social justice warriors are taking over, and this, yeah. so they see anything that's like... In, in oh, the, yeah, female, and they are. And in this case, so it I'm must the... be to be social justice warriors. That must be why they did it. Um, and maybe partially, but... Like, maybe, ma- but also... But you look like... at the political landscape, and they're like, yeah, maybe we should do a female superhero, but also, let's do it because it's like... The, this, they've been setting know. up Captain Marvel and planned Captain Marvel this way for a long time. Yeah, they, they have, have actually planned this a long time to have Captain Marvel come out now. You know, mm. before Endgame, they've had this planned. Yeah. You could have had the male um, Captain Marvel, of when they... but they didn't. So there's a reason they chose. Yeah, but why wouldn't female. you? I mean, you don't have any main female anywhere. Like, it's nothing wrong with doing it when you don't have any. There's yeah. something no, different. There's no, no, there's nothing wrong with it. No. Like, I, there is enough penis. I'm just gonna be real with you. There's like, there is enough, enough penis. There's never enough penis, <laughs> and like, I I don't have an I don't see why it's a fucking big deal, and but people are like no, like no, you no, said no, the no. political people like they're being so just war is fucking, and then, like when, I feel like I'm the you and I are the first people to jump on it when they're like this is just fucking social just war bullshit, but in this case I'm like you guys are the assholes. You're only having a go because she's a fucking woman and you think the whole reason this woman's even there is because it's a social justice warrior attack. Well, it's not. No, you're, it's just, not you're, you're causing the problem that causes the reaction that you then hate. Yeah. It's dumb. It's fucking dumb. And like the whole, like, she doesn't smile is the most, like, obvious lame thing I've ever heard. When, I mean, like, what movie superhero trailer is, unless it's, like, Guardians to the Galaxy, is everyone smiling in the fucking trailer? Watch any Captain America trailer ever. Chris Evans has one face. I think it's just that she's just not very... She doesn't look very emotive. I think that was the issue. Was in the previous two I trailers. Don't, I don't think just, there is an issue. I just don't... It didn't look like I just there was don't much think, emotion there, to be honest. I just don't think they showed much of a character at full stop in the trailers. No, they, that's, that's what probably, I think. That's probably why. I think she this had like trailer was one the best line, line. All the trailers. Yeah, they just they showed an actual scene, an interaction of dialogue yeah. with her and Fury, and Samuel Jackson's fucking awesome in it, as he always is. And like, I love the way they did the scene of you know, he's like, "How do I know you're not a scroll?" And then she shoots a fucking wall, and he's like, "What was that?" And she's like, "It's a." Your scrolls can't do that. He's like, and I'm supposed to just believe you? Like, it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just take your word for it. I was like, that's fucking a good thing. I like it. And, I, and I'm going to like to bring Nick Fury a bit more shine yeah. in the sense but... of he's such a pivotal part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but he doesn't have <laughs> that main shine. I'm looking forward to seeing what he did yeah. in his heyday that then is going to have an impact on why, you know, he built in so many ways the Avengers that then became more of its own thing that they, the Avengers built themselves, but, you know, Nick Fury's one that started it. What is it that he knew and that he went through himself that is the causality to then build the Avengers later? Mm. You know, I'm looking forward to that. And then that coming back around to save the Avengers in Captain Marvel. Yeah, my only issue with Nick Fury is that he's, he doesn't feel a lot like Nick Fury in some of these in some of these scenes. He feels like a bit but of also, a bit of a meme to be honest he's sort of just sort of like but he's, he just looks younger he just looks like it's 
he looks 20, 30 years younger, which is what he's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Like, he'll... Yeah, true. true. We're going to see the Nick Fury. What I feel like this movie has to then explain why Nick Fury became the Nick Fury we know, right? Like, he's just a young S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. We talked about in the Iron Man uh, cinema room last night that uh, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s called S.H.I.E.L.D. in the this trailer. Like they, they call it S.H.I.E.L.D. Whereas in Iron Man 1, they don't have the name S.H.I.E.L.D. They just have the acronym that they read out fully. Mm, yeah. yeah. So that's an issue. Well, I think Coulson was fucking with him. That's, that's, that's the only head cannon we can really do. Uh, yeah, 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 I mean, what else, what else can you do? What else can you do? But I mean, I, I like the trailer. You see Ronan or the back of his head. That's epic. Yeah, it is epic. It is epic. Um, it does, like, this movie, like, you know, it looks like Guardians of the Galaxy meets sort of like, what, like, it does look like a bit of a combination of multiple Marvel movies, like a, yeah, it does look a more serious Earth ones, but also like how it meets Guardians of the Galaxy. Because yeah. I love the space stuff. The Marvel space stuff is some of my favorite shit. Like, Guardians yeah, really is the like best. It. And obviously there's great elements to Thor, and especially Thor Ragnarok, but then you drop in the, like, you know the earth human elements of a captain or an iron man movie that you know it combines and i'm looking forward to seeing how it kind of works and they've got some great actors in there brie larson's an amazing actor yeah. jude law's an amazing actor mm. so there's um and so it's obviously samuel L. jackson we know this but i'm just very much looking forward to seeing it and with the amount of marvel movies at this point i'm like are they gonna run out of actors in hollywood that have, haven't <laughs> been in the mcu yeah that's yeah colson's in it God, you know, yes. he's... he's gonna be the best character. I'm so fucking excited to see Coulson and do his do his little smile, where he's his little little smirk, where he's like, "Ah, oh, I'm a little, I'm a, tr- I'm gonna troll everybody." He's great. I love Coulson. What a what a lad. <laughs> what a lad. When does it come out? What? Captain Marvel. It's February. Right? Um, March. March. No, okay. it's March. Like the first week of March. March. Black, 8th. Black Panther was February. Captain Marvel's March. <laughs> March 8th, and then April 26th, 27th is Avengers Endgame. Jesus Christ. So less than two They're months so afterwards. Close together. And it's then great. Spider-Man. Oh, man. This is a what a year. year. What a fucking year. Because last year, I mean, last year was great. Black Panther was awesome. Infinity War was great. Ant-Man and the Wasp was really good. Ant-Man and but the Wasp this existed. Is... Yeah, that was cool. Uh, hey, bro. It was good. That's it was fine. good. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> it was oh, a I fun little it. funny time and... Bloody, what's his name? Um, Paul Rudd was funny, and Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd is always funny. And other than that, it was I mean, it was a bit weird with that teleporty invisible villain that was a bit shoehorned in. Um, I don't know. I don't talk about Ant Man the Wasp. The, I mean, this year we've got all those Marvel movies. Plus, we've got Star Wars. Disney streaming service comes out at the end of the year. Um, yeah, Star so Wars episode like, nine. Uh, Game of Thrones season eight. Um. Stranger so Things 3. Shit. There's so much shit this year. It's going to be great. Plus Kingdom Hearts 3 and whatever other games decide to come out this year. 